it could be more than a hundred times worse. This is something that I remind myself when I want to complain, 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 and not think about the positives, not be grateful for the good that the Lord has done, and want to look at things from just one perspective. I was on the street three months, sleeping on the street under a bridge in abandoned places and on the sidewalk. I was homeless being targeted. That was worse. I was in a homeless shelter for five weeks after that. A week after moving in, they completely filled up the men's section. There's there maybe 20 men. They had a capacity for 50. Within a week, there were 50 men. Everyone in the, the shelter was targeting me. The night that the Lord allowed that I would get into public housing, I should say the day after the night, that night, I woke up, my heart was pounding against my chest. When I opened my eyes, three different guys had their cell phones on me. I was in the top bunk and three other guys in the top bunk had their cell phones on me. Incredible. I did not have a heart attack, praise God, but I'm telling you, my heart was beaten and I was at the end of my rope. And the Lord allowed me to get into public housing. So I get hit with DWs, but they have to pass through the walls and they're weakened. What's more important than that, the Lord has taught me how to meditate on him and to meditate on him in such a way that he ushers in the Holy Spirit and the ho and then the Holy Spirit of God wraps his arms around me so that no matter what they hit me with, it doesn't have a severe effect on me anymore but it used to. God has given me a wonderful life. Thank you, Father. I worship you. Thank you for reminding me. He's given me a wonderful life. Yes, I'm a TI, but I have an oven. I never had an oven in, in LA. I could never afford to live in a place that had an actual stove. He's allowed me to save food. I have, I've saved money for the first time in years, years. More money than most Americans can put together. And I, I've got it in the bank because the Lord allowed for that. In scorched places, God will meet your needs if you follow him, paying your tithes and offerings and helping out the poor, which I've always done. That includes even being homeless on the street. I paid my tithes and offerings. I would generally just give it to other folks who are homeless, give them that portion. And he's given me a wonderful life, you guys, a wonderful life. I eat better than ever. I don't just eat junk food because he's got me, the Lord's got me under control, disciplined to where maybe once a day, every other day, I'll just eat junk food. Or maybe once a day, I'll just eat junk food for one meal. But it's not all day. So he's given me a wonderful life. I do my best to be grateful, to be thankful. I don't want to grumble and I don't want him to take away what he's given to me because of ingratitude toward him. Praise his holy name forever. So he helps me to learn to be grateful, to acknowledge all the good that he's done, and to endure the tough stuff that's still going on. So I send out my love to you beautiful TIs. Please help my humble channel to grow, like, subscribe, and share.